Welcome everyone to Test It Now Friends. I'm Joseph Gomez, and on this channel, we review products that have been developed in the tech industry. If you would like a faster review, then please go to the description link below. While there, please click the like and subscribe button. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing Droid Cam X. At the end of the video, I will share some info on how to set up your Droid Cam X to get optimal performance. And with that, let's test it. Do you need a cheap webcam but don't know where to find it? Just use your phone with Droid Cam X. Go to the website and download the software to your computer. After clicking the application, you have two options to find your IP address. First, the computer Wi-Fi properties panel, or what I did, which was, I just copied it from the phone software. I featured that later in the video. The beneficial features are there compared to other webcams. First, there is autofocus as a feature. Then, the light control, which I enjoyed very much. Zoom in and zoom out. A mirror screen, so you don't get disoriented. A rotation feature that is pretty cool when you want an all-around kind of video. You can take a picture, you can change the lighting, the contrast, set a delay, and increase the volume. I just leave the features as they are and edit later. You can mute the preview, which just freezes the screen. Great for stopping and then appearing. Aha! One problem I found was that if I have a Type-C to Type-C connection, then I can't connect. Very weird, and I enjoy shooting in at least 1080p. What does it look like from the phone's perspective? First, you only have to pay one time for this purchase, $4.99, which is pretty cheap considering how much a webcam can cost. They give you the same instructions as the PC version, so it wasn't hard to find the IP address on the phone compared to the computer. What about if I don't really have a good computer? You can pretty much set up everything from your phone, which I like because I can do it from anywhere. What if I want my stuff customized? Easy. Simply set everything from your username to your password after trying some of the features, I can pretty much show some clear conclusions right here. Hey guys, this is Joseph Gomez and I want to thank you for watching my video today. Just a reminder that I have a Facebook page that you can follow and it's in the description below. Also, if you head over to the page, I would love to give you that information on how to optimize your Droid Cam X video camera. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions for me. And I'd like to give my verdict today. And that is, it is in the middle. That's right. Why is it the Droid Cam X fell in the middle today? Well, first and foremost, some things I liked, some things I didn't. But the things that were most important to me included the quality of the video content that I was producing. And it was delayed due to the fact that I was only able to get up to 720 pixels. Now, for some people, they may say, well, Joseph, I don't care. Of course, that makes perfect sense. But for me, somebody who creates video content and wants to have the highest level I can possibly get, 4K or 1080p at the very least, I have to make sure that this camera software is able to keep up. And so that kind of brought it down to that middle tier for me. Now, if you are somebody that like to use something like a 720 pixel camera, by all means, this is a very affordable product, even if you purchase it. And if you don't purchase it, you can still get a lot of features out of it for free. Unfortunately, 
that only leaves me with the current product that I've been using, which is IV Cam. And if you haven't seen that video, it's going to be right here. Thanks again for watching, and we just tested it.